Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. So we're going to go ahead and do a What Spirit Wants You to Know reading. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and stick around. Gemini, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, So, I instantly heard, oh, where's your head? Where's your head? Okay, so I don't know. That could be significant for somebody, or maybe it's like, where is your head? In the clouds or involved in something else, Gemini? I don't really know, okay? I also heard, I can't stand the rain, okay? <laughs> At my window. I don't know, Gemini. That's what I heard. Some of y'all can't stand the rain, or you're tired of it raining. This could definitely be symbolic of like, I'm tired of the shit storms in my life, right? I'm tired of one thing after a freaking another. That could be for some of you guys. I'm hearing that bullshit tolerance is at an all-time low right now. So it's like, yeah, don't start no shit. It won't be no shit. I don't know what's up with y'all guys, but that's what I'm getting. Like something like that. Yeah, you're poised, right? You don't have time for it. It's like I have a whole kingdom slash queendom to run. I don't have time to fuck with you. There's something about that, Gemini. Like feeling like you're on your grind, on your game. Don't start no shit. Won't be no shit. I come in peace. Do you come in peace? Like, it's something like that. You're very upfront. You're very direct right now. There could be little epiphanies that are coming through as well. The interesting thing, though, was that the Forces of Nature card really, like, almost slid out on its own when I was putting this back down. So I kind of left it that way because I feel like it's very significant here. I do feel like April showers bring May flowers, which is so interesting because... If I'm remembering correctly, I think that was something I said in my April preview, and now we're going into May. I feel like for a lot of you, you might feel like this, April has been a lot of showers. April has been a lot of thunderstorms, and it ain't done yet, right? Or there's something like that, okay? I just feel like April has been a way maker or a road opener for you. Gemini and going into May even though this isn't a May preview I just feel like there there's something growing from this you know um sometimes there has to be a great purification or there has to be a great clearing in life right when we think about forest fires sometimes those happen naturally to clear out so new growth can happen right um it's the same with natural you know events I don't want to say disasters or whatever but natural weather events that happen like a lot of rain I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth Gemini they're saying basically you can equate how much rain you've had to how much growth you will have so if you feel like April has been a month for you where it's been constant thunderstorms constant rain constant just meeting your shadow battling demons like just all of that then May is going to be an opening point for you they're giving me portal energy Gemini so I don't know if you are going through a portal um you went through a portal some of you i'm getting the energy that you have been tested recently okay like again you're battling demons or something like that some of y'all are going through spiritual warfare you will know if you're going through spiritual warfare it's not something you gotta like guesstimate about okay like am i being attacked right now no you will know if you're being attacked okay and there's something about that where you've been battling some kind of um it feels like old, an old part of yourself because they gave me Osiris energy and I don't really know that much about like other deities and things like that. Like guys, I gotta be real with you. Like, you know, that's not my whole forte and stuff. So I don't really know that much about it, but I did a little bit of research and I saw like God of the Underworld. So, and when I was doing the research, I kept seeing a white python. So take it as it resonates. And then I was also hearing an old part of yourself has died and I'm here to take that. Okay, take it as it resonates. I feel like some of you guys really work very closely with the Egyptian deities, which is why they could possibly be coming through um, for these messages for you guys. But if that's the case and you've been working with deities like that, there's something about an old part of you that's dying and they're taking that part with them so that way there can be new growth. That's what I'm getting. I feel like there's new growth that's coming after some kind of thunderstorm, but it's a painful process, you know? It's like when you get sick or you go through a surgery or you're healing from something and there's a little bit of pain and you might be a little grumpy. It's like not being the best patient or something, or you could just be 
really sensitive right now is another thing that I'm getting. And I feel like I might have triggered some people with saying sensitive because maybe that's what people have been saying to you recently. Like, Gemini, you're a little touchy right now. You're a little sensitive. <laughs> I'm, I'm envisioning somebody turning and being like, am I? Right? Like, it's something like that. They're giving me Jim Carrey from Liar Liar where he's like, I'm kicking my ass. Do you mind? It's something like that. I don't know. You're just not up for explaining shit to people. <laughs> Okay, Gemini, let's go ahead and get into this. What do we have for Gemini, please? What do they need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Okay, let's find out. We have tame and attain. Let me get a drink, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So horse energy is significant. Some of you guys could have strong, saggy in your chart. I'm almost getting the energy here of needing to get control of yourself because at the end of the day, you can't control the thunderstorms, right? Like you cannot control what's happening around you in life. You can only control yourself in the storm. They're bringing me to the buffalo and the cow where the cow runs away from the storm. The buffalo runs towards it to get through it, right? And there's something about that, Gemini, okay? Opportunity is a knock-in. Opportunity is coming. I feel that very significantly. They're linking me to the April showers, brings May flowers, and then the bee energy. Some of you guys could be seeing a lot of insects, a lot of bees. Some of you guys might see birds feeding on bees. I don't know. I'm getting that energy. Okay. But I do feel like um, with this opportunity that you're getting in May, it's not like just being handed to you. You've worked really hard. Okay. They're giving me the energy of the woodpecker just like going consistently right? Pecking at the wood. And there's something there where you have been very consistently working at something. You've been trying to learn to get a handle on something, create some kind of stability. It's like tame this wild energy that's within you, you know, because the horse has a wild energy of like not wanting to be tamed. They almost say that you have to kind of like break an animal's spirit almost to tame it, which is kind of sad. And maybe that's what you feel, right? Like some of you guys might be taking the bridle off. Maybe you're like, I'm tired of y'all being in control of my life because y'all do not know what the hell you're doing. There could be some kind of energy like that, like taking back control of a situation, taking back your power, Gemini. Like, you know, I'm a stallion, damn it. I'm ready to run free. It's that kind of energy. That's what I'm getting. Like, there's some kind of, it's a, yes, destiny path. I feel like there's a very powerful event that's happening within your own life, Gemini, and it is happening on the inside, but it's also being reflected to the outside. Like, how you're feeling inside is... The correlation here bef between what you're viewing on the outside, right? Like your lens that you're seeing life through. It's based off what you're going through on the inside. Right now, you could be feeling a little oppressed, feeling like it's one storm after another. Maybe that your life is not really your own. You know, you have to wear this bridal. You're really a stallion. Some of you might feel like your destined path is out there. Okay, more snake energy. So there could be something here about really shedding that old skin so you can awaken as not a new like version of yourself, but a, a kind of like a new evolved version of yourself. Like you're not a whole new you. You're not changed completely, but there are things about you that are different. So I'm getting that energy, Gemini, like you are on a destined path right now. There's something very destined that's here that's happening up ahead. Okay, we're going to see what this is talking about. What else do we have? What does Gemini need to know? Let's get one more, I think. Okay. And then we have the metamorphosis. That's interesting. Yeah, but wait, there's more. That's what they're giving me. They're giving me the energy of, because I was doing some research on this for a side project. And um, I was looking at the different stages of the caterpillar turning into the butterfly. You know, a lot of people think that the, the chrysalis and the cocoon is the same thing. I was actually one of those people that believed that. But after doing some research and educating myself, no, it's not the same thing. The cocoon is what the caterpillar first goes into. The chrysalis is the last step before it actually transforms into the butterfly. You can't be in the chrysalis and the cocoon at the same time, right? But you will be in both at the same time, if that makes sense, all right? So there's something about that. Like you could have thought, okay, I'm in this cocoon, I'm good, I'm about to break free, and then bam, now you're just in a new evolved version of a cocoon, which is a chrysalis, right? And once you get past that, you are officially gaining your wings. So there could be something about this process right now that could be frustrating because you might have felt like, okay, I thought I was done with this. I thought I was done battling this. I thought I learned this lesson. I thought I had this handled. Um, I thought I told them already to F off. It's something like that where something could be coming back around that you need to work on within yourself, okay? 
And for some of you, the point isn't even to tell people to F off. Like, that's the thing. I feel like there's a part of you where your bullshit tolerance is at an all-time low. But at the same time, does that mean you need to act on it every single time you want to lose it on somebody? I feel like some that's something that you're also working on, Gemini, you know? Like, spirit might be asking you to prove your divinity a little bit. Like, you can't just pop off on every single person that comes your way, okay? I don't know, that upsets you or something. Like, you're transforming into a butterfly. You're not this little grub anymore. You a little grub worm or are you a butterfly? There's something about that for some of you guys. I'm getting that very strongly. Spirit wants you to keep trying. Spirit does not want you to give up. Look, doubling down. You are almost there, Gemini, okay? And you might feel the pressure on your back. Some of you guys might have a lot of back pain, um, lower, upper, whatever. Your whole back could be hurting, okay? Um, I feel like because you're carrying the weight of the world right now, that's for some of you guys. Like, there is this feeling of, like, carrying the weight of the world. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Some of y'all could just be feeling right now, like, damn it, it's hard out here. I mean, it's hard out here for a pimp, but I don't feel like you're... <laughs> I feel like it's more hard out here for a chosen energy. Like, that's what I'm getting from that. Like, it's not to disrespect the ancestors ever, right? Of course. But there is a lot of work to be done, you know? It, it, it's hard. It's almost giving me the energy of, like, when somebody unfortunately passes away in your house. Or in your house. <laughs> Sorry, guys. In your family, okay? Somebody accidentally passes away in your family. And you have to go help clean up their house. And they were, like, a hoarder. And so it's a big job and it makes you kind of low key resent them a little bit, even though you love them and you know that they were just trying, they were just doing the best they could do. Everybody goes through their struggles. You know what I mean? Everybody's going through their own journey. That's why you have to meet people sometimes, you know, at a soul level versus that surface level, because yeah, this person could really be doing some damaging things or saying hurtful things or whatever. But on the inside, this person could be very damaged. They could be very hurt. And no, that does not give people a right to go around and treat other people any type of way. But the same goes for you, right, Gemini? So there's something about that. You could be feeling right now like, you know, the ancestors have had, had their go at it. And now here I am cleaning up a lot of stuff that I feel like isn't my responsibility to clean up like going into the person's house and seeing all the stuff that they were hoarding and all the stuff they kept and you're just like damn why couldn't they just have had it together why couldn't they have just done this why 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 it's like jim and i you're in this chrysalis part okay you're almost at this butterfly stage asking why at this point in the game is just unnecessary we just more need to just ask how. How can we make things better? How can we shift this situation? How can we shift this energy within ourselves? How can we leave behind a house or legacy that we're not going to feel like our kids are having to clean up after us, right? Because that's what your legacy is, basically. It's the future generations. It's what you leave behind. So instead of going, oh, God, look at all this I have to clean up. It's like, okay, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to take control of this situation and transform this because it is my destiny. And I'm going to leave something better for the, for the next generation. That's going to be my legacy to, to leave things better. And that's what your ancestors want because, again, everybody is just doing the best that they can do, right? Every single day. So it's in you with Claim Your Power. Big cat energy. Some of you guys, all right, you really connect with big cats for sure. Some of you guys could be um, Year of the Tiger is what I'm getting as well. Self-worth, self-love, self-value, and self-respect, Gemini, okay? And, and part of self-love, self-worth, respect, value, all that good stuff is letting things go when they need to be. Uh, situations that are siphoning off of you, situations that are taking your power, and maybe even procrastinating on ending certain things or really taking control of certain situations that are on your destined path because it's hard, right? You're like, okay, well, I can just kick it in this chrysalis for a little bit longer. But when in your number's up, when it's time to go, it's time to go. And I'm getting that energy here, Gemini, okay? For some of you guys, nourishment while waiting, you've been really taking care of yourself, cleansing mind, body, spirit. I'm getting a lot of saging yourself, saging your house. Um, I'm getting like ringing bells or using sound bowls, okay, to clear your energy. Something about lemons, okay, lemons and rosemary and salt. Sounds delicious, honestly, but I'm hungry, so that's probably why that sounds so damn good to me. Anyways, that like put that on some chicken. There you go. But anyway, uh, yeah, 
something about that. You could be cleansing your house. Some of you guys could be wiping the walls because I'm getting somebody wiping the walls with something. I'm also getting somebody writing something in invisible paint on their walls. It's like in the protection. I want to say spell for some of you guys. That could be what that is, a protection spell or a protection prayer or um, something like that, a mudra maybe. But I'm getting like um, writing it on the wall with invisible paint. So you you don't see it unless the lights are out. I don't know what's up with that, but that's for somebody. I'm getting a lot of rituals to protect yourself, to cleanse your energy. If you're not doing this, Gemini, you need to. Some of you guys are being very led towards water right now, okay? Um, it's important for you to spend time by water. I'm getting somebody biking by water, like going out on a boat, um, sitting on a dock or something, okay? There's the lighthouse, right? Focus on the big picture. I do feel like Spirit wants you to pull your energy right now um, to set up these sacred boundaries so you can focus on the big picture. This is very reminiscent of the card in this deck that says breakthrough. There could be something that you're needing to see with a different perspective, and that's actually what's going to lead you to your breakthrough, okay? Some of you are this little bumblebee that has been doing all this work. And you are being guided by this lighthouse, which would be the divine, of course, okay? Let's get some uh, tarot out here. Let's see what's going on. Just general messages, whatever wants to come out, what spirit wants you to know. Tame and attain, right? What is this talking about? Yeah. For some of you, that's that anger that I was talking about. Like, that could be one of the lessons that you're going through right now because you're just like, again, I'm getting like... People saying things to you, people doing things, and it's like the audacity. It's like, why? I almost feel like there's this energy of like being really dumbfounded at the disrespect that people are giving you right now. I don't know. It feels like shit that could be avoided too, like unnecessary bullshit. And you're just like, why? What the fuck? And then here's the darkness. Like, yeah, people suck. The world sucks. Everything sucks. You know what I mean? So there's something about that. Like controlling your own thoughts, not getting drawn down into this illusion that life isn't working out for you right now or that you're losing or something in this bitch. I feel like that's for somebody because you are winning or there's something that you're going through. It's just a part of your journey. It's not the whole journey. Yeah, remember who you are, Gemini damn straight, okay? So there could be something about that. I'm also getting this energy of winning. Again, there's something about this passion that's bridled. Somebody feels that way. They feel like they're not able to create the way that they want to or say the things that they want to or do the things that they want to move the way that they want to. They feel a little trapped. Stallions are meant to run free. Look at that. A stallion in the background. Okay. And some of you feel like you're not a stallion right now. Like you're a fucking farm horse. Like, I don't know. That is for somebody. Okay. But that's an illusion. Again. So some of you are trying to learn how to kind of tame and attain this creative energy, this passion that you feel within you. Some of you, the fact of the matter is, is that you have to be a farm horse, period, right? And not in the essence of like, you don't have any kind of freedom in your life, but you do have something that you have to stay committed to, or you have to stay a part of, like you have to know your role, basically, for some of you. What this is saying is learning how to step out of that energy of thinking that this is something that has to be done and looking at it as instead of like an honor. This is my honor. This is what I'm doing, right? There's something about that for some of you guys. So Spirit is saying for that situation where you do feel like you're forced to kind of wear this bridal and tame that passion or that fiery energy that makes you want to break free, run, go, do this, be all sporadic, be all crazy. It's like putting that energy into other projects, you know? Say y'all really want, let's just use this as an example. Say you really want to sleep with somebody, right? You really want to sleep with this person, but for whatever reason you're not able to, and this is really making you grumpy or it's fucking you up or whatever. This might be a bad example, but this is the example we're on, Gemini, so we're going to keep on moving with it anyways, okay? Um, it is really that energy of taking that and harnessing that energy and putting it into something else because you can't put it into what you want, giggity. You know what I mean? So there is that energy here of I'm going to put it into my art. I'm going to put it into my crafts. I'm going to put it into my passion, my purpose, whatever it is I'm building. I'm going to put it into making some money, right? I'm going to put it into going out and working on my garden and mowing my yard or going to the gym. Like I'm going to put it into eating better and learning new recipes like 
that's the energy I'm getting. Like you have all this passion, you have all this energy within you. And for some of you, you're not able to put it into the place that you want to. So spirit's asking you to see what else is available in a healthy way. It's not saying go smash whatever else is available, but take that sexual energy that you are feeling and put it into your passion, put it into your projects and watch that shit soar too. Because low key spirit saying if, if there was like that much passion put into your projects as you put into, you know, doing the other thing that you want to do, you might see some real progress, some real results here. That is for somebody, okay? So there could be something you're feeling very frustrated about, but spirit is saying you need to harness that energy in a positive way, okay? That's just what I'm getting. Some of you guys could own a horse that is a little bit like it does not want to be tamed. That's for somebody or animal or something, okay? I'm hearing like, I've had um, ornery horses before, but this one is different. Like, yeah, it's because some horses can't be tamed and that's, the, that's what I'm getting for somebody too, okay? So like, if you have this passion and you have this like, I really want to pursue this, I wanna do this, and you can't for whatever reason, so you put your energy into other things, like I just said, and it's still, not working for you maybe you're a horse that can't be tamed maybe you do need to break free and go after it i don't know you gotta take it as it resonates guys always use discernment when you're listening to these messages but that's kind of the energy i'm getting okay yeah but either way spirit wants you to love upon yourself be gentle with yourself right now okay it, growth is uncomfortable healing is uncomfortable it's uncomfortable for the caterpillar caterpillar excuse me to go through all these different stages just to get to the chrysalis to find out that's just another stage right like i twitch that's kind of the energy i'm getting like somebody's eye is twitching out there right now about how much they have to go through <sighs> okay destiny path what is this talking about for gemini please what is this destiny path talking about some of you guys look at wasps as a good omen because that doesn't look like a bee to me. That looks like a wasp. So some of you guys look at that as like a good omen and you might be seeing more of those. I'm getting like a, an increase in insect activity around you or animals, but mostly insects. Okay, for sure. Okay, what do we have here? It's Destiny Path. What is this talking about? We have the Six of Cups that popped out with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, some of you guys have been at something for a very long time. That's what I'm getting. You've been at something for a very long time. This is also, the, again, that heavy is the head that wears the crown energy. It's like, you know, seeing your whole process, seeing your whole life and looking back on it and seeing all the stress that you went through, but also, again, the divinity that you hold. I'm getting that very strongly. Some of you guys are learning that you have to give up certain things to move forward on your path too, as well. There's something here too about rediscovering the childlike energy or just choosing to be happy in times where it's so easy to feel, you know, bad, Gemini, or sad, or mad, or angry, or like, fuck the world. Like, it's so easy to get into that energy, but, you know, Children, they're so resilient and there's something about finding that childlike resilience. You know, children, they may fall and they may bump their, their knees or something or bump their head and they may cry a little bit, but they will go right back at it. Anybody who has a child that's learned how to walk, y'all know this, okay? That child is nine times out of 10 gonna fall and hurt itself. But the next time that it goes to walk, it's gonna show absolutely no fear. It's gonna give it a go right? And there's something about that. Like you too may be learning to walk right now and you might have fallen a couple times, you know, and it hurts. But there's something about keeping up that childlike resilience, keeping up that childlike enthusiasm that's telling you, I want to try again. I want to try again. There's something about that, okay? Because I feel like this path has been hard. It's been stressful. It's been painful. It's been a lot of you facing your shadows and battling demons and, you know, healing from childhood traumas and things that you went through, right? Um, and it might feel like, again, it's one after another. I do feel like the growing season is about to occur, though. Okay? So it's, it really is about discovering that childlike energy or holding on to that childlike energy of being very resilient, seeing the brighter side of life or the you know, positive things that life has to provide, right? Yeah, I told you that growing season is coming. 
I feel it very strongly. I also feel, let's try to put this over here. I also feel that you're gonna be very successful. That's part of your destiny. And this could be a success story that you're meant to tell or you're meant to write about or give or a success story that maybe um, future legacies will talk about. That's for somebody out there. Like for some of you guys, what pain you've went through, it's your power. And it's gonna be something that is going to help gain you some kind of recognition. I don't know, that's for somebody. Somebody's pain that they went through is going to help them gain recognition. It could be because you tell your story. It could be because you tell your story and you find out there's a lot of people that went through exactly the same thing as you or similar things. And you're like, shit, okay. It could be because you're meant to take what you've been through, Gemini, and help other people get through it as well. And I know it's hard for some of you guys because you might feel like you had to get through it alone. You didn't have those people to really back you up. But see, that's why you're different. <laughs> because whereas some people will be like, well, fuck everybody else because I had to suffer, so everybody needs to suffer. You're like, no, I had to suffer, so I don't want anybody else to suffer. That's the difference between divine and karmic energy, first of all. Okay, so you will know where you're at based off of how willing you are to give a helping hand when you were never given one. Just period, guys. Okay, because you are here to be a light and the light does have to get put into the darkness. The light isn't going to show up in the light. I've said that a million times on this channel. Going into a bright room and turning on another fucking light does absolutely nothing. You must go to the darkness and turn on your light. That's where you have to go. In fact, this destiny path is in the darkness. Look at it. So maybe some of you guys are realizing that. You're seeing that. You're like, yeah, I am the light. And being the light means I have to shine in the darkness because I want to make a difference. And that's what I'm here to do. So some of you guys, you know, you're up there. Um, I don't want to say being crucified or anything, but you are up there taking a hit. So everybody else can kind of be okay. I mean, I don't know. There is a little bit of sacrifice energy here. But I feel like for those that are willing to do it, you're willing to do it. And I feel like that's the group I'm talking to right now. So just take it as it resonates. But I do feel like there's some kind of success, some kind of recognition that is destined for you. And you will go through this darkness first, okay? Some of you guys, this could happen at a later time in life. Like, you know, this might not happen when you're young. You might have to get through your whole life almost before you actually get to this. Um, that is for somebody. I'm hearing a late bloomer, but I don't feel like you're a late bloomer. How can you be blooming late? That's the thing, right? We, pr we try to put these constructs and these times on fucking flowers. Oh, they're supposed to bloom between April and June, right? The flower is going to bloom when it's supposed to bloom. It'll bloom when it's meant to bloom. So you can't be a late bloomer. You can only be a bloomer, you know? But some of you guys would be considered as a late bloomer, okay? It's like somebody getting married when they're 50 or something. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it, but a lot of people do traditionally get married when they're younger. So there could be something like that going on, okay? When it comes to your destiny, your success, whatever recognition this is or something, okay? Like how can you write the story if you haven't lived it yet, Gemini? How can you help heal people if you haven't gone through it yet? And something about that. This metamorphosis, what is this talking about for Gemini, please? Well, thank you. What is this talking about? This metamorphosis. We have the Queen of Cups coming out. Yeah. There's something about that. Like, I picked this up in a recent reading, but I think it went on Patreon, guys. But it was it was like putting little nuggets of spiritual gold into your spiritual savings account. Like, berdunk, berdunk, berdunk. That's what they're showing me right now. Like. With all your good deeds, with all your effort, with all your healing, with you facing your shadow, with you working on your karma, with you choosing to heal even though you've been hurt, right? With you choosing to get up and try another day. Um, it's like you're putting something into your spiritual savings account. This is going to get cashed. Look. Yes, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. This is coming into full stability. This is mastering something too. I don't normally get that off of the Queen of Pentacles. Um, but I'm actually getting that like mastering something within yourself. And some of you are ready to sail away from this chrysalis though. Like you're done. <laughs> you're like I'm tired. I'm tired of being in the chrysalis. And I don't know why they're just now giving me this, but I'm connecting that, that chry chrysalis cocoon energy to whatever this bridal, um, bridled energy is. Okay. Like some of y'all really do feel like they're showing me somebody trying to run. <laughs> 
and spirit has like the back of their shirt and they're like not getting anywhere and like as soon as spirit like lets them go they're just like off okay so there's something about that here y'all some of y'all are just ready to go you're ready for this um transformation you're ready for this metamorphosis you're ready to be the motherfucking butterfly okay that's just what i'm getting you're ready to be the butterfly you're ready to see what your wings look like you know you're like, I'm ready to go. I don't know. That's for some of you guys. Yeah, justice coming out. Libra energy. Some of you guys are just feeling very ready to go. You know, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, that's two cups. I feel like you're very much in alignment with yourself. You're feeling more harmonious. You're feeling more balanced as time goes on. I feel like some of you guys could be stuck in this energy. Take it as it resonates. Everybody's going to be at different parts, okay? I feel like that's what you're trying to acquire, if anything, is balance, right? For sure. Yeah, and there's a Six of Swords coming back out. So you are moving out of some kind of rough, choppy energy, Gemini, and I do feel like things are balancing out for you. You had to go through some kind of karmic justice. Some of you guys have been serving a karmic sentence. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Nobody is, like, above karma. That's the thing. We gain karma every day. But with every interaction, every way we treat somebody, oh, that's another message, too. I had totally forgotten about it. Spirit was letting me know that people are racking up karma with their interactions on social media. Okay? Because you don't have to get on here and be mean to people. And see, and that's the thing that I learned a long time ago about this world. This world don't owe me a fucking thing. I learned that a long time ago. So don't ever think that Jessica's out here thinking she's entitled and shit. I don't, most of the times I have a problem with thinking I'm not deserving enough, okay? This world don't owe me a fucking thing. But you know what? Respect and honesty, it's free. And we all have a choice on how we treat each other and how we show up. You don't have to go out of your way to be a dick just to be a dick because you think it's fucking cool, right? So these people who want to be these keyboard fucking warriors on um, social media and want to try to hurt people, okay? And I damn sure be talking to some of the people that's come in my comments that y'all don't see because I delete that shit, but I have had some vile shit come through to me just fucking because, I guess. I don't know. Like, don't think there's not karma for that. <laughs> don't think that there's not karma for that because the person that you're talking to on the other end of that computer or phone or whatever is a real person that's going through real things. You don't know who that person is. You don't know what they've been through. And you're coming at them crazy because you're having a bad day and you think this is your, your space to just go ahead and let it all out and be a dick to people. So that was just the message I got, okay? So rest assured, Gemini, if you come up against some kind of keyboard warrior that's really hurt your feelings or just like went in when they didn't really have to, yeah, there's something about that, okay? Anyways, I feel like there's something about moving out of this choppy situation, though, that you've been in. Again, it's been stormy. And you're sailing away, Gemini. I feel like a lot of you might be washing your hands of situations, okay? Like, fuck it, I'm throwing my hands up in the air. I ain't involved in this anymore. It's something like that. Cool injustice, okay? For sure. Let's get some additional messages slash advice. We're going to use the birds. Why not? Okay. What do we have here for Gemini? Additional messages slash advice. We have the loon, okay? What is this? This is a drift away, okay? <laughs> With pay attention to your dream time messages. Um, messages of guidance are drifting in Gemini, okay? So yeah, you are being shown the way. Some of you guys, your dreams are just off the chain right now. They're just really weird. You're seeing all kinds of stuff. The way this loon has red eyes is making me think that some of y'all could be um, losing out on uh, sleep or something. I don't know, okay? With this nine of swords. If you guys are going through some kind of spiritual warfare, yes, you might not be sleeping. But on the other side of that coin, if you're going through an ascension, you might not be sleeping because, you know, so some of y'all just might not be sleeping or you're just up really late. Or when you get up really late, like, that's when you feel most creative, okay? Like, that's when you feel like working, writing, painting, dancing, something like that, okay? Going out, I don't, I don't know why y'all be hiking or going out at night, but maybe that's what you feel like doing. You're feeling very connected to the nighttime right now, Gemini, is what I'm getting. We have the parrot. Let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It is in time to embrace who you really are. Yeah, so if you have had somebody kind of come at you kind of crazy recently, um, Gemini, it's like, let go of their thoughts and opinions. It doesn't matter. Let the divine handle it too. That's the thing. At one point in my life when I didn't necessarily believe in a divine energy or that spirit really had my back, because um, yeah, at one point I was kind of like, I don't know what I believe, you know? Um, 
I've said it many times, like at one point in my life, I didn't even pray. I didn't even used to believe that prayer was a thing or that angels even existed. I, I thought it was like mental health issues. I'm gonna be so real with you. That's how on the other side of the fucking coin I was at one point in my life, okay? But anyways, long story short, when I was at that point in my life, I didn't believe that the divine had my back, so I seeked a lot of revenge. I would go out of my way to do petty shit when somebody had hurt me because I felt like that was the only way that they were going to be taught. That was the only way they were going to be shown. I had to bring my own justice to the situation because Lord knows there wasn't anything else that was going to do it. But since I have surrendered and since I have put my trust and my faith into the divine and I do believe without a shadow of a doubt, 100 fucking percent that spirit has my back. I've seen how spirit has had my back. I've seen it. So now that I'm in that energy, I don't feel the need to seek revenge. And sometimes that fucks people up even more, right? When you can just walk away, no fucks given, it's like, they would rather you be mad. They would rather you go after them. They would rather you just wah, 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 fucking lose it, okay? And go nuts on them because that will validate them. That will make them feel better. But when you put your trust into the divine, and you say, okay, I know that spirit has my back, so I don't need to seek any revenge. You will get yours eventually just because of how your energy works. It takes that pressure off of you. It almost makes it to where it's like, this isn't even my fucking problem. I don't even have to trip. Don't even have to trip. So there's something about that, Gemini, okay? Just letting yourself just be cool, okay? Whew. There's some powerful energy in this reading today. What else do we have? But I haven't read for you guys in a while, so yeah. Oh, what is this? Yeah, this is my square up bird, right? <laughs> the grouse, grouse, however you say that. Embrace the power of dance and movement to access your highest guidance. Some of you guys need to get your frustrations out through working out, running, dancing, singing. I'm um, doing something physical, Gemini, okay? And then we're going to take these two and that's going to be it. We have the woodpecker. It says, use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. And then we have the peacock. It says, inherent wisdom is emerging through you at this time. Watch it and ready yourself for a rebirth. Yes, coming out on top of that six of swords, because I feel like that's what you're sailing into, okay, is your rebirth. Like I said, April showers are bringing the May and flowers. Anyways, guys, that has been your reading. I do hope that it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.